Look at them fighting for them. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you go, woman. All right, people. I decided to challenge five pianists to a little friendly competition where we all play the same piece and see who plays it better. The piece, of course, is my cover of Peaches from that Mario movie that came out a few months ago. Peaches, 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 peaches. This song was really catchy, in my opinion, really annoying, but I wrote this cover in the style of Beethoven. It was my favorite composer, so that I can turn it into this epic and also really difficult piano solo. So first of all, where do I find five highly skilled pianists who have the time, energy, and willingness to take on this challenge? That answer comes from today's sponsor, Fiverr. Fiverr is this freelancer website where you can hire basically anybody to make your life easier and do things such as graphic design, web design, marketing, hiring someone to write your wedding vowels, you know, the usual. And of course, you can hire amazing pianists to play your music, no matter how bad it is. Now, for some reason, some pianists charge more and some pianists charge less. So the least expensive charge we had was $55, while the most expensive charge was $600. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. Especially for me, a starving artist who has to make YouTube videos videos to survive. So the question is, does a higher price lead to better recording quality, or is it just a matter of opinion, like artistic differences? Let's find out. And after we showcase all five pianists, you guys are gonna see my performance of this piece. So it's your lucky day, people. This video is gonna be absolutely epic. Without further ado, let's introduce the first pianist. The first pianist is Alexander, and he's from Ukraine and has a master's degree in piano. He says he's in love with the piano, and I love that about him. Let's hear his performance. It's... I gotta say, for only $55, Alexander did an absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is top-notch piano playing, people. And although I felt like at some points, he could have dialed up the emotional dramaticness a little bit. Because it's Beethoven, you need to add a little bit more of that dramatic tension, you know? But overall, it was very clean, and the dynamics were good. The explosion at the end was awesome. And so, I yeah, I gotta give Alexander props, and I think he should charge more, honestly. Alright, this next pianist we have is called Timothy, otherwise known as Levitanus. And on Fiverr, he usually charges around $250, but for us, he gave us a discount to $120. He's a classical concert pianist, and before the war, he used to run a music school in Ukraine with his wife. So let's see if Timothy, who is a relatively new seller on Fiverr, can play our piece of Beethoven Peaches. very elegant the way that arpeggio came down nice very nice pianissimo here okay. oh, oh. 
Oh, that's clean. That's clean. That's a very good tempo, too. Oh, I love the, the pedal dropping out here. That's a great crescendo. Very clean. Very satisfying triplets. Oh. My god, that was a good pause, too. Love that sudden pianissimo. Oh, sports bando. I love it. Punch that last chord into oblivion. This is great. This is great. Oh man, gotta give props to this guy. He really took this piece and made it his own. It almost sounds like a concert performance piece. I love the sudden pianissimos and fortissimos that he threw in, and everything just felt like he really cared about this piece. You know? Yeah, I I, I love that. Overall, it was very intense, and I appreciate that about him. So good job, Timothy. This next pianist we have, his name is called John Zeff. He's a full-time professional pianist. He's had 18 years of experience and studied at prestigious music schools in Italy. That sounds really good to us. So he charged us $200 and let's hear his performance. So I don't mind when pianists make a little bit of creative, you know, decisions with my music. Okay, okay. Okay. Very. That was a very creative interpretation of my score. I think some of the rubato was a little bit too much. I think sometimes the momentum did not feel like it was all headed in one direction, but it was kind of like, you know, up and down, right? And so, whereas the previous two pianists had a more consistent tempo. So I think that's that can be good or bad, right? But I really liked the ending of John Zeff's performance because I felt like at that moment, he took a little bit of a pause, but he then, and it really exploded into something that was beautiful. So overall, great job, John. Great job. So this next pianist is called Joyce Shaheen, and she's based in Melbourne, Australia. She has a background in classical training, but she's able to handle anything from jazz, soul, to contemporary music. Apparently, she has great stage presence and a really good connection with the audience. So let's see how she does, okay? And her performance fee for this project was $230. <laughs> see her singing the words in her head. She really loves this. <laughs> she really loves the song. I love the energy inside of this one. She handles those first notes of those uh, runs. Oh my goodness. This is clean. Look at her biting her lip. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you go, woman. There's so much passion inside this performance. Oh, 
window. It's like the, the energy is bursting out of her. In a good way. She's totally destroyed a piece in a good way. She totally slammed those octaves at the end and really brought out that explosive energy that I was looking for when I wrote this cover in the style of Beethoven. So yeah, wow, absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And it was very clean too. You know, a lot of those runs in the right hand are not easy to play. Trust me, you know, she combined cleanliness with all of that raw power and energy, you know, different than the previous pianists who actually, <laughs> it's like the male pianists had more of these, you know, dynamics and more rubato while Joyce just brought the fire. And I love that. Gotta give props to Joyce. Wow, completely worth the $230. Now we get to our fifth and most expensive pianist, the big bad wolf himself, Artem Tenkeli. This guy graduated from a Russian conservatory and he's a soloist of the Mordovian State Philharmonic. All of that sounds really impressive to me. And although I feel like all of the pianists we've had so far are professionals, he's the first one to be certified professional. So anyways, let's see if Artem charging $600 can give us something that is truly exceptional. No pressure. <laughs> This is taken slowly and lyrically. I like that. That's clean. That's clean. And that's very dynamic. Here. Here we go. I love the left hand jumps. Those are great. That was very rhythmic. Okay, the right hand carried the melody really well there. flourish that did not write in the score. Yes! Okay, he really took dramatic intensity to the next level here. Performance-wise, his runs were super clean, especially the difficult section with the right hand. That part, oh my god, I'm telling you, it's really hard. And to play it at his speed. And I loved how, you know, like his left hand also for those jumps were very, very clean. I mean, for how much work goes into recording a piano piece and practicing it to this level, you know, $600 is definitely worth it. Wow is all I can say. <laughs> wow! Some of you have been waiting for this whole video, which is my performance of Peaches. But before I get to that, I just want to talk about all the five pianists and just congratulate them for the job they did because this was a difficult piece. But overall, I'm really proud of all of them. And I think all of them charged me prices that were completely worth it. And in many cases, below their actual value. So if you want to hire any of these outstanding pianists, you can just check out the link in the description below uh, where you can see their Fiverr profiles. And also, I wanted to announce myself that I am offering Fiverr piano improvisation lessons. So if you want to learn how to improvise on the piano, now is your chance. This is only going to be available for a limited time. So without further ado, let's now listen to my performance. And just full disclaimer is that I recorded my performance before I heard any of these pianists. 